This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Forget the frustration of picking commerce platforms when you switch your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling wherever you sell. With Shopify, you'll harness the same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash tech. This episode is brought to you by Experian. Are you paying for subscriptions you don't use, but can't find the time or energy to cancel them? Experian could cancel unwanted subscriptions for you, saving you an average of $270 per year and plenty of time. Download the Experian app. Results will vary. Not all subscriptions are eligible. Savings are not guaranteed. Paid membership with connected payment account required. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moz Boss Show. And in today's episode, so I'm going to be talking about the messed up guideline strike system on YouTube and uh yeah overall how like youtube they need to fix that uh guideline strike system because there are a lot of creators you know falling victim to this uh system and it's like fam you know you out here punishing creators for the wrong reason yet there are creators out there that are actually going against your guys's platforms like i know i didn't seen uh music videos i know for a fact they don't went against the uh guideline um the yeah the guidelines i know i didn't see youtube videos uh because there was like one video that uh got recommended to me and there's like a bunch of videos out there like this where it's uh let's just call them uh well what could i overall call they like to do uh explicit content not on youtube well they are doing it on youtube but they're you know doing this explicit, explicit content like on other websites like only fans for an example you know because uh yeah that's usually what these creators are trying to promote but here's the thing though no they managed to find a way to uh like i guess find their like way around the guidelines uh you know the like overall the rules and stuff and promote explicit content but that's the thing though what they're doing they're calling it educational and i'm thinking to myself what's educational about showing parts of your body that's not supposed to be shown on youtube i'm saying like they, that that's the part that like that really trips me out and it's like wow and meanwhile with me it's like all i did was a reaction to a parkour uh fails video and i got a guideline strike over it hold on <coughs> okay there we go but anyways i saw that and i'm like this is crazy like no there's no way possible like there's a lot of content like this that um that exists and uh yeah so overall i looked up like the name of that type of content you know i i just overall i don't want to say it because it's like i know then these i feel like these creators they be like no my videos got uh taken down and it's because of this content i ain't trying to have nobody come after me so i'm gonna try to be as non-descriptive as i can be but anyways um but yeah i looked it up like that type of content and yeah there's a lot of different creators that's overall promoting this form of content and i'm like wow and i know for a fact that that goes against the guidelines and i know for a fact what they're doing it's like the thing they're trying to promote like their other uh platforms where you know that type of content is more welcome and i'm thinking to myself it's like fam I wasn't even promoting. I wasn't encouraging nobody to hurt themselves. I'm not encouraging people to go out and do crazy things. It's like, if I find that content funny, I find that content funny. I can't help what I find funny. So it's like, it's one of those things. It's like, it ain't no different than somebody working at the YouTube headquarters and they find something funny that I don't find funny, you know? So it's like, to me, yeah, I just kind of, I find that weird. But anyways... So there is one creator, though, where they are known for their explicit content, but they're not uploading that type of content onto YouTube. Like, yeah, they might talk about it because they're well-known for it and stuff, but yeah, they're not, like, uploading explicit content that's, like, you know, or and then saying, like, oh, I'm uploading this for educational reasons and stuff. Like, no, they're being themselves, you know? They're not being weird or anything. They're not being fake. So... Maybe I shouldn't say the word fake, but it's like they're not like uploading um, explicit content on YouTube. And if they are, then it's like, well, it ain't. It's like, I think if anything's, they're talking about the explicit content, but they're not overall showing the explicit content. So, and that's the thing where it's like, I know people will probably be all like, oh, well, that, that goes against the guidelines too. You shouldn't be talking about explicit content. I'm like, okay, well, what about rap music? What about movies that exist on YouTube? Let, and you know, actually, I had, uh, did a video where I was talking on 
on uh like these uh, guideline strikes and stuff and i looked up when i looked up like ex like extremely explicit movies or something like that and they actually have a movie that's well known for showing some explicit stuff on youtube you can actually buy and and or rent this movie and i'm pretty sure there's a lot of other stuff on uh uh youtube where it's like movies where uh it's showing a lot of different you know what actually there is one movie where i remember it because i had uh um i just remember that movie going viral and people were talking about it a lot because it was like they were showing some like really crazy stuff and i just remember my mom was getting ready to uh watch that movie and i was like no 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 no, no. do not watch that movie like maybe read about it or something if they got like a book you can yeah but it's like i wouldn't recommend watching that movie it's like it's one of those movies where it's like nah you you ain't gonna you ain't gonna be into the to the stuff that they're showing but anyways so it was this movie that came out 11 years ago i'm telling you right now and they have it where you can uh watch this movie on youtube i ain't gonna say the name of the movie because i don't i don't overall know if uh if youtube would trip about that but or yeah youtube and the uh my podcast uh the platform that i'm posting on the uh, anchor but no let me just overall see if you can yeah you can actually watch this movie with a membership on youtube that's crazy they don't even have it where you can uh buy or rent the movie like you and i'm pretty sure they're probably showing the uh explicit scenes and all that stuff because no the thing was this this movie was so i just remember when this movie was uh going viral because it was like a lot of people were talking about it at the time but i just remember when this movie was going viral people were asking that question like were the two uh um actresses like were they actually doing the nasty in that movie because it's like fam it, it honestly looks like they're doing the nasty and uh act they both the actresses they came out and they said like no we wasn't like it just looked like we were but we wasn't like that that's just overall what the uh director wanted or director writer whoever it was that wanted that stuff but yeah overall though it was all like they wasn't actually doing nothing but it's like fam it looked like they were so my the crazy thing about it and i'm pretty sure youtube isn't censoring that stuff out like you actually can watch that stuff on youtube and i mean if they are censoring it out then they are but it's like okay why is it that a movie or you know but I, even there's been music videos like i even remember the weekend he uploaded a music video where he showed some uh explicit content and um i don't even let me just actually see real quick if this uh if if that music video is um like age restricted but because i remember i was watching it i think i seen it on uh um mtv and then uh, i just thought like that was the it was the same thing with youtube but they mean they do put explicit in the uh title and stuff but oh it is uh age restricted so i i mean i guess but i'm pretty sure like yeah it, the thing is is this it's still being uploaded onto the uh, YouTube platform. And I'm pretty sure if a kid really wanted to see what that video was and to see it, because it's not like The Weeknd. It's because it, I th wasn't he, was it The Weeknd in Fortnite? Hold on for a second. The Weeknd, I think he was in uh, Fortnite. The Weeknd, uh, Fortnite, yeah, Fortnite skin. Yeah, he was in, uh, um, in Fortnite. And who, my thing is this. If you do this math, all right, The Weeknd plus Fortnite, Plus some kids equals some kids is going to know of the weekend. So guess what they're going to do? They're going to hear his music. They're going to listen to it. They're going to hear this song. They're going to see that that song got a music video. They're going to see that that video is age restricted. So what's that kid going to do? They're going to find a way around that age restriction. And they're going to go and watch that music video. And guess what? They're going to see some explicit content. So my thing is this. It's like, oh, because I the thing is. I know if they, uh, like, let's say for an example, if that kid, if they uh, got parents that don't care, because I know uh, for me, it was like not so much as with like the content that gets uploaded on the YouTube, but with video games. And I know like I, because fam, I grew up playing nothing but rated M video games and stuff. So it's like, it's one of those things where it's just, you know, like YouTube, you can't stop no kid from seeing explicit content. I guess you can maybe like put it out there saying like, hey, have your kids go to YouTube kids if you want them to just you know like be on like some kid friendly stuff but overall youtube it's like fam 
YouTube is not a kid-friendly website, all right? I'm going to tell you that right now. YouTube is far from being a kid-friendly website, but it's like you're trying to push out that narrative, and it's like, fam, that's not what YouTube is. It never was. I remember when I was a kid, fam, oh my God, it seemed like it was a Wild West on YouTube. Like, there was so much explicit content. that If anything, they've toned down, but there's still explicit content on YouTube. So, but anyways... I, that's what I was originally talking about. Um, or I, I can't because I've done a, a take of this um, podcast and I can't remember if I already had talked on the creator or not. But anyways, but no, there is a creator that uploads um, explicit content. And I guess, yeah, just continuing what I was um, going to say and stuff or what I was originally talking about. But there is a creator that does um, upload explicit content on the Internet. And um, they're no for they're much more known for that explicit content on like other websites than they are on YouTube. On YouTube, they're just uploading random videos. I think their latest video that they upload it let me go back to uh their channel and stuff yeah the latest video that they uh uploaded was of uh them trying um snacks on tiktok and then another one is of a vlog and then another one is that they went to a place uh i think it, it looks like it, it's a music uh festival and stuff and then another one of them trying on um uh like clothes and i've seen that type of content before and um it's like fam to me it's like none of that content look like it's going against the guidelines like they do have like some content up where it involves other people that do um explicit content i imagine it's all like yeah it's like that's if those are your friends if those are the people that you cool with and you're like hey you want to record a youtube video there ain't nothing wrong with that but so anyways the one thing that does um seems wrong uh, seems wrong is that youtube hasn't sent them out their 100k plaque and this YouTuber has, let me just, 353,000 subscribers. So they're long overdue for a YouTube plaque. Let, let's just overall check their social blade real quick. Because I imagine they probably are getting a lot of views. Because I think their last video, 17,000, 14,000, 18,000, 69,000. Uh, 140,000. Like, yeah, they're getting a lot of views and stuff. But anyways, let's just go on... Uh, social blade and see how many views they're getting so they're getting uh in the last 30 days they got 568,000 views uh 6,000 subscribers they got a daily average of 200 views uh or not views but uh subscribers a weekly average of 1.4 thousand um subscribers and in the last 30 days 30 yeah there's like that uh the um 6,000 but when it comes to uh views they get um a daily average of 18,000 views a weekly average of 130 in 132,000 views so it's like fam I know that they're making YouTube some money it might not be a whole lot but it's like fam I know I'm making you guys some money and let's just overall see uh like their total views and stuff with their channel because I know there's uh hold on for a second I wonder 20 million 20 million total views so it's like fam i done brought 20 million views to your guys's chant or to your guys's platform and i wonder how much money does uh like we I, I imagine like they're probably making the majority of the money but it's like 20 million views on youtube money that means that with 20 million views, you can expect to make anywhere between 40,000 to 200,000 just from ad revenue only. If you imagine a pie chart, big YouTubers are earning around 20% to 25% from ads. The rest of their revenue is covered by affiliate marketing, brand deals, etc. So regardless, YouTube is making some sort of money. It might not be a big percentage, but you are making some sort of money off of this creator. And the one thing that you said that if you get 100,000 subscribers, it's like you overall get this uh, plaque. They got achieved it three times, three different times, 300,000 subscribers. And you mean to tell me they can't get no 100K plaque? That's crazy. That is some insane stuff. And it's things like that where it's like YouTube. You have to realize how messed up that is. Where there's creators, there are big creators that have went against your guys' guidelines. Like these are pe- to, like talking on people that you guys done invited out to like YouTube rewinds. Like let's just see. Let's just see if this one creator, because I imagine, let, uh, I'm just curious to see if they had got like a 100k plaque or any type of youtube rewards or something um they don't they don't say but i know for a fact that they've had to have gotten some sort of like uh youtube plaque or youtube award or something they don't say but 
hold on. Nah, that's not it. But uh, anyways, I looked up the uh, that one guy, uh, Shane Dawson, and I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure Shane Dawson. Let's just, let's just look up controversial YouTubers. Controversial uh, YouTubers. I don't know how to spell controversial by heart, but anyways, uh, uh, Logan Paul. I'm pretty sure he has, uh, you know, well, and it's like, I feel like he's done redeemed himself throughout the years, but Logan Paul, Jake Paul, PewDiePie, yeah, all those guys have been caught up in some, uh, controversy and things, but I'm pretty sure all of them got, uh, like, plaques and all that stuff, um, but anyways, uh, Shane Dawson, David Dobrik, Keemstar, Leafy is here, um, Onision, On oh, oh, yeah, I heard of that guy, Sam Pepper, Eight More, um, I'm Jason, oh, yeah, I remember that guy, because he was always doing those videos where he's, like, he acts like he's talking to the dead or something like that, but, uh, Jeffree Star, Daddy05, um, James Charles, Nicole Arbor, uh, Nicole Cado, Avocado, Toy Freaks, and, uh, Trisha Paytas. So, it's like, you mean to tell me, um, all those YouTubers, like, I imagine they probably all got some sort of YouTube, um, award or something, and it's like, and if they haven't, then it's like, yeah, even if they are controversial, I mean, like, if you don't want them on your platform, then that needs to be said, but it's like, that, I feel like them are, like, one of the only, like, uh, two options that you guys have, you need to start telling people we're, you're not welcome to the platform, or you need to start giving out, um, these plaques to people, and I mean, if it is on some stuff where it's all like, you know, and even if it was like that, where where it's like, hey, we're behind on Plex. We can't really make yours um, right now, like, at the time. So it's like, just give us some time, then okay. But it's like, when you're saying, I can't get a plaque for a guideline strike that I, like, I think because it was like a guideline strike that I received last year. But then they made sure of it right after I hit 100K. They gave me another guideline strike. And they made sure of it that it's like, if I were to get me a 100K plaque, it'll probably be sometime next year. But who um, knows what could happen um, from now all the way up until next year when I'm eligible eligible of getting a 100k plaque they might be like oh well let's go ahead and give him another strike so he can't get no plaque and he'll have to wait until 2026 so it's like what then by that time i have 200,000 subscribers or i'm in the same position as this creator that i was just talking about where i got 300,000 or it's like let's say if i'm on my uh like you know some mr beast energy and it's all like i get um almost how many subscribers does he have this isn't it like 300 million or something like that mr beast he has 307 million so it's like what is it gonna be at that time when i'm getting me a 100k plaque and it's like after that and got me a hundred thousand subscribers time after time after time over and over and over again it's like youtube you gotta stop being weird when it comes to these guideline strikes because that's not fair to a lot of creators where it's like they see all these other controversial creators where they're still um able to upload and do all this other crazy or other content and they're in did far more crazier content than me and they and said far more crazier things to um than me I'm saying you got some creators out there that have uploaded uh, racist content, and you still see them till this day on your guys' platform. So that's why I'm like, man, nah, YouTube, you guys got to chill when it comes to these guideline strikes, because that's just not fair. That, and you got to um, be equal to all creators, because that's just not fair um, that you guys is like, oh, yeah, all these other creators that we done invited out to, like, YouTube Rewinds and our headquarters, and we're all good and buddy-buddy with them. Yeah, they're eligible on um, having good things happen to their channel, but anybody else, nah. You you can't you can't have that. So yeah, man, let's see where all this stuff goes. Hopefully at some point in time, you know, it might be some equality when it comes to uh YouTube. But anyways, with that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. Stay tuned for the next episode and peace.